Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Feel free to subscribe at youtube.com forward slash Bill the How To Guy because Bill will show you how to. Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Just wanted to talk about how to how to buy an Apple Mac computer. Now if you're if you're a Windows user, maybe you're a long-term Apple Mac user. But if you're wanting to make the switch or upgrade what you have, how do you buy a Mac? Well, Apple has recently, and I love Apple, I'm a, I've got a, an abundance of Apple products, iMac, MacBook Air, iPad, iPhone, you name it, iPod. I've got a lot of their products, I really love their products. But the new Apple, and this is after uh, Steve Jobs' unfortunate passing, the new Apple is a little bit different animal. Now it's a different animal from the standpoint that in the past, if you were tech savvy, you could buy a lower end uh, Apple computer and using the right tools, the torque screwdrivers and whatnot, you could take the Mac apart and self upgrade your hard drive, self upgrade your memory and buy that memory and hard drive upgrade from a third party site, saving several hundred dollars as opposed to if you bumped it up before purchasing it directly from Apple. But Apple has recently made that more difficult because now they've migrated to solid state hard drives and built in memory. So at a high level what that means in the past where your memory and your hard drive were separate components they're now all integrated into the main board on the computer. Now that's a positive because it speeds up performance of the computer but it's a negative from the standpoint that for people wanting to save a buck or two or not a buck or two but a few hundred bucks upgrading, it, upgrading the computer after they purchase it it's making that impossible. So with this being the case, the new mentality when you buy a Mac computer is to be sure to get what you want or what you feel you may need in the near future before you purchase it. So if you're getting a computer, keep in mind if you go with only four gigs of memory, uh, MacBook Air for example, 2012 edition, if you only go with four gigs of memory, that's all the memory you're going to have. You won't be able to upgrade after you purchase it. So get what you think you're going to need. For example, what I did, I just bought a MacBook Air 2012. I maxed out the memory at 8 gigs and I got the 128 gig SSD. Now, I could have gone bigger with the SSD, the solid state hard drive, but I didn't due to cost. I wanted to keep the cost down. And the fact of the matter is, with 128 gig today, and this is 2012, October, but a 128 gig SSD right now for a Mac computer is more than sufficient. And what it means is that when you get the computer out of the box, you've got the operating system installed, the Mac OS X Mountain Line, and you've got the iLife, which is a GarageBand, iMovie, those types of apps. And with all that installed out of the box, with a 128 gig SSD, you're going to have approximately 100 gigs free, which isn't huge, but it's enough to uh, leave room for video edits and photos. And then you can, if you, if you really want to expand the... Uh, the amount of storage you can connect an external Thunderbolt or or USB drive externally. And keep in mind, those external hard drive options, they don't have to be Apple purchased. They can be purchased from uh, discount sites such as Newegg.com, Amazon.com, etc. So my best advice to, to put all this to, to a close here is that know how long going into the purchase that you plan to keep this computer. If it's just a uh, computer you plan to upgrade very soon, maybe you don't want to spend as much for the higher capacity hard drive, the higher capacity memory. But if it's something that uh, you do plan to keep for a long time, you may want to future-proof it to some degree and splurge uh, a little extra for the, uh, uh, for the storage space. Now, the storage space, probably 120, if you wanted to go beyond 128, 256 maybe, but 512 in my opinion is just cost prohibitive. Uh, the memory, I would definitely max out the memory and whatever model you get because the memory is something that uh, you won't be able to externally upgrade like you can a hard drive. If your internal SSD hard drive gets filled up, you can put external drives to it. You get, uh, get to a point to where you need more memory to run your applications, that's not upgradable after purchase. So I hope this video is of value. I welcome your feedback. Uh, as always, feel free to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash build the how to guy. And uh, feel free to share this video with others. Y'all have a good day.